Hey everyone, this is JoJo, and I'm here to do a book review for y'all. Um, this book review will be mostly me just talking about these two books that I recently read this month that are kind of new, I guess. Uh, one is a first uh, volume in a series, manga series, and the other one is just a regular standalone graphic novel that might get a sequel. I don't know. So, uh, let's see. The first book here is The Prince in His Dark Days by Hiko Yamanaka, Volume 1. And this is a manga series uh, from um, Kandansha Comics. And I'll uh, get this from the library. This is about this girl named Asako who, um, who has the misfortune of, no, she has a, no, uh, a drunken father. She's poor, and uh, she tried to find ways to raise money to, uh, you know, pay rent and stuff, and, you know, uh, yeah. So, mostly it seems like nobody doesn't like her as much, or she just keeps to herself. Um, and, like, one day, uh, this rich boy suddenly kidnapped her. That's just weird, kidnapping someone out of nowhere. And, um... Took her to her to his mansion, and his two friends, or you could say people who kind of like watch him, almost like bodyguards, but not really bodyguards. There's them in the back, and um, he mostly took her into his room to wear her clothes, and I'm like, okay, weird. And um, <coughs> I ain't saying nothing more. At, at, uh, any spoiler like that, but anyway. So that's how the, she got. In, that's her first encounter with the rich boy and her two and his two like friends or whoever they are to him. And um, so one day, uh, the rich boy got gone missing. Uh, the rich boy was named uh Itaru, Itaru or something like that. He got missing or he ran away, and um, they needed a replacement to. A replacement, so uh, no, so no one will go looking for him until they can actually find him and drag him back. So um, this girl looked just like uh Itaru, and so they mostly she mostly had to replace, you no, know, be the replacement, and she can pay for it, and she also doing it because she um never felt uh never felt like she, nobody ever felt like they need her for anything or uh what do you call it uh needed. Also grateful too, because there's some people who uh, thanked her for her uh, for doing this. Um, the art is decent; is unique in some uh, way. It's kind of like shoujo, but more uh, rough, or you can say not as you know, big eyes and fur frillies and all that stuff. But it's a decent, um, uh, you know, art. And I really like it. Um, I like the story too. At first, kind of confusing or just seen out of nowhere, but uh, yeah, um, yeah. Trying to think of the character. So you get the main character, who's a girl who has to dress up as a boy to uh, fake being this other guy, and then you get um, this one guy who uh. Let's see, hold on. There's one guy who um, told her that oh she, she he she needs to replace him. That's him right there. And um, so he's more <coughs> like um an older brother or a person who watches over the Taru. And then you get this other guy who. Alright, um, here he is, right here. This other guy right here. Who um going to get in trouble if uh, they find out that Itaru is missing? And that's what that's another reason why she replaced it because she didn't. Cause he was he treated her so kindly. He didn't want um she didn't want him to get in trouble. So uh and she also get was going to get paid uh oh. some money for doing this uh for him. So we learn a little bit about not just Itaru just a little bit, but she, we learn um. How she, um, uh, she, f I don't know, what do you call it, like, she felt a little, I don't know, comfortable, uh, wearing, um, boy clothes, I guess, 
they, uh, I don't know. <coughs> I don't know how to explain this. See, I'm not really good, um, haven't done this in a while. I don't want to spoil anything, but, uh, this is different than most shonen, I mean, most shoujo manga, or any manga, really, that has, uh, that's, it has, like, uh, LGBTQ, um, representation in here. One of the representation is, um, uh, identity of gender, which is between the two char main characters, uh, mainly the two characters, um, uh, uh, As uh, Asuko and Itaru. Asuko, she, um, <coughs> um, no, ha no, has to dress up as a boy to be a replacement, and um, she's doing it for money and to also for the sake of someone. But I don't know. It seems like she might feel comfortable in boy clothes, but I'm not really sure. She's just doing her job. She even go as far as working out more and smoking to deepen her voice. Um. And sometimes, I don't, we don't know to take it that she's trying to do a really good job so people won't uh, mistake her as a girl. Or, I don't know. Because she looks like she's, like, proud when she, uh, <coughs> her legs got thicker. Where is it? Like, look, she looks so happy. So, I don't know what that got to do. And the other representation is this guy. Now, Itaru, he's here. Let me see. Uh, him right here. That's him. And he's wearing girl clothes. And we found out later that he uh, likes wearing girl clothes. And I do not know the reason yet. We don't know if he is he does he just like being wearing girl clothes because he likes girl clothing and how it looks on him, or if he wants to be a girl. We don't know. So it could be like a, a representation of transgender, but not really sure because it, it tells more in the second volume. Um, and of course, there's another um, character here who represents, uh, uh, let's see, homosexual, uh, a young man. Who, uh, later, I ain't trying to spoil anything. It's just like, just telling you what I like is different than most shoujo uh, manga. Is that um, the same guy who, um, let me see, let me show you. This guy, the same guy, right here. He seems to be in love with Itaru. So, that's another representation. So, um... And it's, okay, so the beginning, it just shows the girl uh, having this terrible life. Her father is an asshole, and he always seems to be drunk. Um, uh, she was kidnapped, and this weird stuff happened with this boy wearing her clothes. And then, like, this guy being nice to her. And then, um... She left the house, her house, left her father because her father wanted her to do something for this guy, mostly sell herself, so to get, just to uh, get paid, no, for payment, because he owed this guy something. So she left, and she, um, will, uh, the willingly, uh, um, willingly will, uh, be a stand-in for the guy. And so she had to, uh, he had to teach her how to walk, talk, and behave like it's true, and also eat, and like, you know, do manners and stuff like that. Um, yeah, the art is really nice. Um, and this guy right here, I believe, I'm not really sure for sh sure, but I think this guy might fall in love with her later in the series, might, but not really sure. Because, yeah. Um, so yeah, and then, um, how things were going, Itru also have uh, problems with his mother, so, um, let's see, what else, yeah, so he found, she, she found a room for a closet of girl clothes, uh, from, um, Itru, and we'll find out a little later about that, um, 
in the next in the second volume. I have a little explain a little more. So yeah, and um, we also learn that uh, the the main guy, I mean the other main guy. Oh man, I hate this. Uh, try to go back and forth here. Uh, this guy right here is uh, Ichiro's older brother, and there's a little backstory in uh, later in the chapter. So that explains why he's doing all this for his, uh, for this uh, Ichiro guy. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'll give this sto the story a decent story, like the start of, I can't, I don't know if I can read it. The uh, the story will be probably like between a seven, <coughs> seven something, maybe eight. Does seem decent enough. The art, I will say either seven or eight, because it's unique and different than most shoujo manga, and the characters are interesting. Some of them, you can, sometimes you had to fit, like, I mean, you can tell them apart, so the characters have a unique kind of style and their personality, too, uh, in the relationship, so, and the characters are mostly interesting, so, yeah. Um, I hope does, I hope the story get better, because I seems like the second one going to get better, because it tell more of Israel's side, and where he went, and stuff. And, <coughs> yeah, um, the, uh, the reason why I picked this up was because some people said that this was, um, uh, similar to, uh, not that similar, but a little bit similar to Arm, Arm High School Host Club, because a girl had to dress like a guy and become among these rich, pe rich, rich people, but this is a little different, and of course the main character is poor, but this is a little different, this has more uh, of a deeper darker story, more dramatic, and not comedy. So yeah, this is, uh, I would, I don't know, I don't know, I, w I would recommend people to pick it up just to check it out and see how they like it. Especially if you like, uh, you know, cross-dressing and what I just did about representation of LGBTQ characters, and yeah. So the next book I got here is Reindeer Boy, and this is by Cassandra Jean, and this is a standalone graphic novel, and this is from Yen Press. It's by American um, Arthur, artist. Uh, at first, when I picked this up, the art looked really nice, and it looked very familiar, like I've seen it before. Like, here's some art right here. Okay. Show some more. So, um, this is mainly about Santa Claus reindeers. You can say reindeer boy. And these are all the reindeers in the back. And it's about this girl, like, every summer, I mean, no, every Christmas, she received a present from this boy. Like, she has this dream. She didn't know it was a dream or not. Every Christmas, she always received a present. And she wondering who it's from. And, um... She met this the new boy who have horn. I mean antlers. Uh, and like she wondering if it's real and stuff. And uh, yeah, she met all the other reindeers. The art is nice. This is by um the same person who did the art for um the oh man, what's that um the Bank Chronicles uh anthology. Short stories, novellas, whatever you call it. They have like little art pages for each story. That's the same art she did. And yeah, she mostly did art for um, Cassandra Clare's uh, books, like info books and stuff. That's why I rec how I recognize the uh, art. So yeah, so she met all the reindeers from like all come to the school and she met Santa Claus, seriously. Doesn't even look like Santa Claus. But mostly this story is um <coughs> different than the Santa Claus story because the reindeers are mostly like a mailing delivery service group where they can go open a door and they go to different places where they need to go to deliver their uh package or mail or whatever. So it's not like they have they become reindeers and like uh Santa had to fly a fly sleigh around the world. Um, so yeah, um, it's like a, have a little romance between the main character and, um, what's his name, Cupid? 
yeah, Quincy and Cupid, and uh, she suddenly the, is the villain knocks on her forehead because she got knocked on her head um, by a door, and like she like the like bumps are getting bigger. Um, so there's a little romance comedy, um, great art. Um, so here's some of the art here. That's the main character, Qu Quincy. Uh, all the reindeers are, uh, unique in their own way. <coughs> Let me see, um... Um, I don't know, but yeah, here, there's some right there, and some art. I don't know how to explain it, because it's just mostly like a contemporary with some little, I don't know if you call it magical realism, but some kind of, ur like, urban fantasy kind of thing, like fantasy or myth that you never thought was true, but it is, but in a different way. Um, and it was sweet. But uh, I heard that there will be more about other characters, like or maybe a sequel or more stories of, from this world with the reindeers, with like mostly going to focus on the other reindeers. But we don't know when that gonna come. It's probably gonna probably gonna take a while. But yeah, I really did enjoy this. I hope there will be more soon, and I hope her other works will come in publish publication soon too, because. I really enjoy her art, and hopefully the stories will be good too. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. There's this uh, one scene where I hope that um, there will be some LGBTQ representation here too. Uh, where is it though? Where is it? Um, I think it's over here. It's right here. Cause like this part right here, um, this guy seems like he's blushing because he's looking at him, but I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, and it also says that, um, where is that, where is that? Crap, is it right here? So right here, he said, like, why are you staring at me? And she said, his sister said that, um, that's, uh, don't worry, he just like you. He just chills just because he likes you. So, um, so we don't know, like him as a person and want to be friends or more. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you got these different characters. They all like a family, only like foster parents, but in a different way. Um, yeah. Don't know what else to say about this. I have more to say about this than this, because this just seems something very simple. Just a romance, contemporary kind of story with some mythical kind of element or plot going on. So, yeah, um, hope to have, hope there will be more of uh, stories about these characters soon, and yeah, so that's my uh, book review here about these two manga here, I mean graphic novels, um, I will recommend both of these for y'all to check out, <coughs> mainly for the story and the art, and this mainly for the art, the story is, is just simple, but I will still, in, uh, still, uh, you know, tell you the story is good. Like, it's not bad, it's just, wish there was more. Like, it makes you want to have more, like, learn more about the characters and stuff. And, yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below, tell me what you think of these series, I mean, of these two uh, books here. Have you, read in, have you read any of these? Tell me what you think. If you have not, tell me what's similar, or, I mean, no, just... No, ask questions or something. Just tell me whatever. <laughs> I don't know. And um, I hope you like this video. Please comment below, subscribe, etc. And I hope I see you again soon. Bye.